Taking us out to Tropical Storm Fred over the Dominican Republic. Can you find it? As I mentioned at the top of the hour, it is struggling over the very mountainous terrain of the central part of the island from Haiti into the Dominican Republic. You see some thunderstorms trying to get going around that center, but that center is struggling. So the expectation is it will continue to weaken down to a tropical depression reemerging back over the water. But again, within the margin of error, it could stay over Cuba, which would further disrupt that circulation, albeit not quite as much because as you get towards central and western Cuba, the the terrain is more flat Then that turn toward the north is still expected in the eastern Gulf. We could see some further strengthening, maybe a stronger tropical storm and still the possibility of it becoming a hurricane at that point. The thinking for the track has not really changed. We started to see a little bit more spread in the models in kind of the three and five day, but most of them are still linking or uh, still indicating that kind of bullseye over around the Apalachicola area, which is where the hurricane center is th still thinking. Upper ridging is going to start to break down and in that break, that's going to allow the storm to begin making that turn and it's really going to be that break in the ridge that may start to increase our rain chances toward the end of the weekend and early part of next week. But next couple of days though, it is going to have a rough time. Not only the land interaction, but you can kind of see the motion in the upper atmosphere. This is wind shear. This is dry air, so this is not a real hospitable environment environment for further development of the storm, at least in the near future. Now, once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, that wind shear may slacken a bit and very warm temperatures there, which is why we are expecting a little bit more strengthening of the storm.